It's time for Tales with Three from the Grave. film starring Mr. Anthony Perkins and Miss Janet Lee. This is a 60-year-old movie, by the way. That's right. Psycho, the, the, the classic Psycho is 60 years old. Time is flying. We're all getting old, unfortunately. <laughs> Damn it. Anyway, this revolves around Marion Crane. She works at a bank, and she stole $40,000 from her employer. She wants to run away with her boyfriend, Sam Loomis, not to be related with the Sam Loomis from Halloween. It's a different Sam Loomis. Anyway, so she's on the road, she's nervous, and she's exhausted. And she decides to pull over for the night, and she winds up at the Bates Motel. It's far away from the city and whatnot, and that's when she meets... Norman Bates. He is the hotel manager and he's a high maintenance individual and he's he's pretty much dominated by his sick mother that lives in the top of the house or at the, the top floor of the house and uh, there's just constant arguments from you know Norman and his mother and they're just going back and forth and it's it's kind of weird and then shit goes south real fast unfortunately i can't do this review without talking about the iconic shower scene <laughs> anyway the, things get really bad there you know with the, norman's mother and all this stuff and the shower scene it's just bloody it's disgusting it's terrible it's, anyway um that scene just was shot so there were so many different angles in that scene and um the music just was the the icing on the cake you know the score in this entire film the soundtrack is just beautiful the, the cinematography is just top notch you know alfred hitchcock was a perfectionist if you've seen his work you know that he always wanted to give it his all and give the audience a great film. And I think that's what he pulled off here with Psycho. Janet Lee just gave us an incredible performance. Vera Miles, who also plays her sister, uh, 
Lila Loomis, and the actor who plays Sam Loomis. I can't fucking remember his name, I'm sorry. And of course, there's Mr. Anthony Perkins. The great Norman Bates. Um, it's just... What a legend. What else can I say? You know, Norman Bates is, is a very interesting individual, very interesting character. Um, and I think that's why we got several sequels, and then we got the Bates Motel series. Um, it is definitely one of the greatest films of all time. One of the greatest horror films of all time. And damn it, Psycho is a masterpiece. And if you think that it's not, well, come at me, bro. No, I'm just kidding. I, I don't condone such behavior. Anyway, and now it is time for the character mythos. Hello, everyone. Mother says you want to know more about Norman Bates. Well, Norman Bates' character originally came from a book written by American author Robert Block in 1959. And then we have the movie adaptation, obviously, since we're talking about it, in 1960, directed by Alfred Hitchcock. Norman's psyche is definitely fragile in his older age, but you have to go back into his childhood to understand why a lot of things happen the way they do. Norman's father died when he was very young, leaving him and his mother alone. Norman experienced severe emotional abuse at the hands of his mother, which definitely led to an unhealthy relationship between both of them in so many different ways. If you're fascinated with understanding Norman Bates more, I highly recommend the TV series Bates Motel. It shows progression of what's happened to Norman and how he became what we see in the Psycho movies in a very entertaining, fascinating, yet fun way. Definitely has a little bit of its own twists on things, but it's an interesting perspective into the life and childhood of Norman Bates. The Bates Motel TV series does allude that Norman Bates probably had dissociative identity disorder as a young child, something you might have heard previously as multiple personalities. The current diagnostic term is dissociative identity disorder. Now, according to the author Locke, Norman Bates didn't develop this until later on in life. After he killed his mother and her fiance, staged the murders to look like a murder-suicide, and then ended up in a facility because of the shock of what had happened. Dissociative identity disorder doesn't actually show in adults in the real world, but it seems to be a fantasy thing as to what happens with it. It typically happens and develops in childhood as a way to protect the self, separating traumatic experiences into different personalities. So on that note, based off of the more understanding that we have for dissociative identity disorder today, the Bates Motel series is actually more accurate because of the history that it alludes to having taken place versus what Block wrote and decided for his character originally. One thing that I know for sure is that the Norman Bates character is one of the earliest discussed and known displays of trans culture as well as the dissociative identity disorder community. However, both of these communities typically aren't killers. So that's a whole other subject or a whole other another video about how that's affected those communities. Just want to throw that in there just as an FYI. Norman Bates is definitely one of the most iconic and terrifying of all horror villains. Now that you have some of the back history and mythos of Norman Bates, let's learn more about the facts. I've just sacrificed the dear skull to my saviors, the Teletubbies. Oh, I know it's time for a clean-up. Here's shower time with Movie Massacre. Here's some facts on Psycho. Number one, Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> He's a cock. <laughs> paid less than $10,000 for the rights to Psycho. It'll cost more than that to fix my sphincter after pulling this out of it. Number two, good old Alfred financed Psycho himself. Looks like I'll be financing my Grand Canyon of an ass to be fixed. Number 3 Psycho is the first American film to feature a shitter. Speaking of shitter, I gotta take a shit. Ah! Number 4 Psycho's iconic score is all strings, despite Hitchcock's intention to use jazz. Classy bastard. Classy bastard. 
Number 5. Psycho's ending was spoiled months before the film's release by Variety and The Hollywood Reporter. Anyways, there are more facts. If you want to know, use that Google machine on the device that you're using to watch me shower. Anyways, that's it from the sexiest trio in YouTube Horrorland. Have a fantastic week. We're off to ride Falco to Neverland so we can kick the hell out of those lost boys. Have a fantastic blah blah blah, we're out.